Hey everyone, back tonight with uh, chapter 37 of Isaiah. And it says, this it says, Hezekiah seeks Isaiah's help. Chapter 37. It says, As soon as King Hezekiah heard it, he tore his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Elikam, who was over the household, and Shebna, the secretary, and a senior priest, covered with sackcloth, to the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amoz, it said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of distress, of rebuke, and of disgrace. Children have come to the point of birth, and there is no strength to bring them forth. It may be that the Lord, your God, who is Christ, of course, uh, will hear the words of the Rapshka, whom his master, the king of Assyria, has sent to mock the living God, who is, of course, Christ, as I said, and will rebuke the words that the Lord your God has heard. Therefore, lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. When the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, Isaiah said to him, or said to them, Say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid because of the words that you have heard, with which the young men of, king of, of the king of Assyria have reviled me, or angered me. Behold, I will put a spirit in him, so that he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land, and I will make him fall by the sword in his own land. Then Rapshka returned and found the king of Assyria fighting against Libna, for he, for he, uh, for he had heard that the king had left Lachish. Now the king had, uh, so now the king heard concerning uh, Terhaka, king of Cush or Ethiopia. He had set out to fight against you, and when he, and when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall you speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah. Do not let your God, do not let your God in whom your trust deceive you by promising that Jerusalem will not be given to the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the lands, devo uh, devoting them to destruction, and shall you be delivered? How the gods of the nations deliver them? Well, like I said, God's poor form is talking, talk, actually talking about demons. Um, so saying, have the gods or the demons of the nations deliver them? The nations that my fathers destroyed, Gozan, Haran, and Rezpah, and the people of Eden, who were in who were in Talarsar. Where is the king of ha of Hamath, the king of Arpad, the king of the city of Sephorim, the king of Hena, or the king of Iva? Hezekiah's prayer for deliverance. Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, O Lord. O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who is of course Christ, and thrown above the cherubim or above the angels, you are the God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, you have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see and hear all the words of Serachim, which he has sent to mock the living God. And truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations in their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no, for they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they were destroyed. So now, O Lord our God, save, save us from His hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that You alone are, are, are the Lord. Seraphs fall. This is when, of course, King of Assyria you know, uh, dies or is basically killed. Then Isaiah the son of Amaz sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Christ. Because you have prayed to me concerning Sarah, the king of Assyria, this is the word the, uh, that the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, or she hates you, she scorns you, the virgin daughter of Zion or Jerusalem. She wags her head behind you, the daughter of Jerusalem. Whom have you mocked and reviled? Against whom have you raised your voice and lifted, and lifted your eyes to the, to the heights? Against the Holy One of Israel, who is Christ. By your servants you have mocked the Lord, you have said, With my many chariots I have gone up the heights of the mountains, to the far recesses of Lebanon, to cut down its tallest cedars, its choicest cypresses, to come to its remotest height, its most fruitful forest. It says, I dug wells and drank, and drank water, to dry up with the sole of my foot all the streams of Egypt. Have you not heard that I determined it long ago? A plan from days of old, when well, now I bring to pass, that you should make fortified cities crash into heaps of ruins, while their inhabitants, shorn of strength, are dismayed and confounded, and have become like plants of the field, and like tender grass, like grass on the housetops, blighted before it is grown. 
I know you're sitting down and you're going out and coming in and you're raging against me because you have rage against me and your complacency has come to my ears I will put my hook in your nose and my bit in your mouth and I will turn you back on the way by which you came so God's telling him um, you know God's just tell, telling uh, Sarah to that look I know everything you're doing I know it you know um, and he's saying that he's, he's allowed all this to happen because so that Sarah could fall of course but he's saying Sarah I know all this all these things you've done I know I know it all um, I, I've allowed you to do these things so that it can basically bring your own fall but um you know God that's what God's saying is, is again he, he's saying yeah sure but I know what you've done I've allowed you to do this and um and now you know I'm going to turn you back and let you go back to your own land so that you can be killed pretty much because God's had it with them um it says and this shall be the sign for you this year you shall eat what grows of itself and in the second year what springs from that then in the third year sow and reap and plant vineyards and eat their fruit and and the surviving remnant of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward for out of Jerusalem shall go shall go a remnant and out of Mount Zion or Jerusalem a band of survivors the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this therefore thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria he shall not come into this city or shoot an arrow there or come before it with a shield or cast, a pot, or cast up a siege mount against it but the way that he came by the same he shall return he shall not come to the city declares the Lord for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David and the angel of the Lord is actually God Jesus went out and struck down a hundred and eighty five thousand in the camp of the, of the Assyrians and Christ went out and killed these people he slaughtered them he killed a hundred and eighty a hundred and eighty five thousand Assyrians and when people arose early in the morning behold these, these were all dead bodies then Sarah the king of Assyria departed and returned home and lived at Nineveh which is northern Iraq today and as he was worshiping in the house of, of Nisroch, or at, it says uh, Nisroch, his God, who's actually Satan, of course. Um, it says Adramelech and Shazar, his son, struck him or killed him with the sword. So th this is amazing. Think about it. So here, um, you know, God's telling you know Sarah, and look, I know, I, I know what you're doing. I'm allowed you to do these things and now I'm going to turn you back and allow you to go back home basically so that he can be killed by his own sons um you know Sarah or Sarah went to, to the to his house of his God he's really the, he's really Satan to be honest and um and what and what happened well well when you deal with evil what happens you die and God allowed you know his sons to kill King Sarah um so of course um it's pretty interesting there. Um, moving on though, it says, um, it says, and after they escaped into the land of Ararat, which is Turkey today, basically you know, uh, Mount Ararat or, or Turkey, Eris hardened his son, bringing his place. It says, chapter 37, about Hezekiah seeks Isaiah's help, Hezekiah's prayer for deliverance, and then Sherechub's fall, or Sherechub dies pretty much. So that's 37, I'm about 38 here shortly.